So, I have probably spent close to a thousand or over on parking here at the university. So, um, I want to talk to you guys about that today. If you do live in Iowa City and you have a car, it is difficult to find parking near campus and practical uh, parking for all your purposes. So, I personally have been commuting for a year and a half. The first year, I lived 45 minutes away and I had to leave my house an hour and 15 minutes early to find parking and insure it. So that was really frustrating. So today I'm gonna to talk about the parking issue on campus. Um, I'm gonna propose what I think can be done about it and then its benefits. So first, the issue, um, parking here is just minimal, I think, and the cost is not so affordable. Um, the lots that are provided are across the river or they're just the small library lot. So I wanted to look at this map with you guys here. So, the, you guys see the University of Iowa main um, old cap is right there. And then the library lot is a lot that you guys know of usually. Um, students are encouraged to park there, but it's actually in this map showing that half of it is reserved for staff and half of it is not even particularly for students. It's just public parking. And the only place on this map that is for students is, um, I can't, oh, I think, sorry, I can't find it in. It might be, might be this one, but there are minimal. So the green is all just um, actual staff parking. So staff gets a lot more parking than we actually do. And um, the purple are the commuter lots, which are way off campus. So um, that's just frustrating to look at. And those purple <coughs> ones over there are way in Coralville because this map is way zoomed out. So that's not convenient. Um, and then also the cost of parking. So for a commuter lot, a permit pass, can be um, all the way up to $300 sometimes, which is ridiculous just for one semester. And a lot of people end up using the city ramps because if you park there every day, then it usually adds up in one semester close to $300. So um, people might pay the lower fee if the, if the um, or pay for the farther lots if the pricing was lower, but it's not. So I think that Iowa should provide more parking for students that are closer specifically to colleges around the university. So if the College of Ed had a parking lot or a parking ramp, that would be really helpful because we always use the city ramp instead, not actual university parking. Um, and then I wanna compare a map of Iowa State. So the red or pink parking is all student parking within the campus. So that's pretty crazy comparison. And then the yellow is for staff and then the blue up on top of the map is the commuter lots. So those lots, actually if you think are also are only $150 for the whole year. So just in comparison, the price is pretty crazy too. So if Iowa State can do that, I think Iowa can provide a little more parking for convenience for students and staff. Um, so the benefits to adding more parking is um, you students that have the parking, they won't be tied to the class. Um, a lot of time, you know, if you park in that city ramp, there's a line like all the way up the street waiting to get in. So that's really inconvenient. And then also another benefit is I think it's lowering stress. If you leave the house and you know you have somewhere to park, that's really um, helpful. So imagine a world where you can park right outside, no waiting, no hassle. So to conclude, we talked about um, the issue of parking at the university for staff and um, students. And then a solution I think that should be acted upon and then the benefits of it. So um, if my solution was acted upon, people like you could just park right outside with no hassle. Um, you can be a part of the push to add more parking by writing to the commuter programs office at the university. So that's it. Thank you.